our our usual host, Lindsay, is out sick today, so I am taking over for her. Um, I know we've been a bit late, a little bit all week this week, but sometimes things come up and it just kind of sucks. So thank you everybody for being patient, waiting for us, joining us, um, and welcome to the Design Power Hour. So I'm not very good at digital, so I'll be doing actually some traditional stuff, but yeah, forgot to um, unhide our, our intro, so oopsie daisies, um, whatever, uh, I'm, whatever, I'm not going to touch it. Uh, anyway, so um, I'm doing traditional art, so we have the webcam out today for that, but before I get into that, of course, there's a couple things I want to talk about. One, um, for everybody who hasn't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. We are trying to get to our 15 subscriber goal so we can unlock our first emo slot. Emote? Emo? Emote? I can talk today. I had a presentation this morning. It was a bit rough. We can unlock our first emote, the Mr. Frog dabbing emote that Lindsay designed, I think a couple months ago. Uh, but be sure to join us and for all of our one first tier subscribers, you do get your own personalized certificate sent to you with a sticker if you so desire. So that is always a plus. For our tier three subscribers as well, you will get a free t-shirt, but that promotion is ending soon. So please be sure to check it out. You can see it on our channel and our modules below our video screen. Uh, but you'll get to see what the shirt is. It has Mr. Frog on it. Please be sure to check it out if you can. Once again, thank you guys for all your support. Um, we're also trying to get to our cheer bit goal. We're almost there, but at our next cheer bit goal, we will be having one of our art directors come and do an interview on, uh, well, live and on stream. So please be sure to help us reach that. If you donate 25 bits, you do get a sticker on the wall. Oh, and I forgot to mention, if you do subscribe, you do get your own little crown sticker on the wall. Um, so, Getting that boring stuff out of the way, I also wanted to briefly talk about our ornaments that we did yesterday. Uh, as you guys saw a struggle quite a bit, it turns out that the glitter paint, let me see if I can, oh, there it is, unbelievable. Um, <laughs> turns out that our glitter paint doesn't actually really stick. Um, here, let me, Ugh, it's like gooping out still too, which is even grosser, but it, it didn't really stick. Um, the other two were a little bit better. Um, not a lot of the paint came out, but it is still gooping out quite a bit. So, oh, it's all black. You can't see any of it. <laughs> um, here, can you see the blue one? That's oh, dripping. Okay. Um, so that's how those came out. So just wanted to update you guys on that. They are apparently taking a very long time to dry, which we were not expecting. Um, but yeah, it's still dripping paint, like almost 24 hours later. So if you're gonna do this, um, we don't really know what any recommendations we can have for you other than maybe get paint that works really well with this kind of plastic or whatever. But um, anyway, moving on. So welcome to the Design Power Hour. Today I have something really interesting for you. I have been going through my old makeup and either donating it to people if I don't use it or for stuff that I can't donate like lipsticks, trying to figure out what to do with them. I don't wanna throw them away necessarily because like it's wasteful and a lot of it does have a lot of lipstick left. But as it gets older, it doesn't work as well. It smells weird. You really shouldn't put it on your face. So I've decided to kind of create an art project regarding it. Um, I have a bunch of lipsticks here and they all have various shades and colors. Uh, I'm not gonna say the brands, I guess. I mean, I guess I could, it's not a big deal, but um, I just have a lot of lipsticks, a lot of variety, a lot of stuff that I either don't wear anymore, can't wear and can't donate. So <clears throat> what I've decided to do is try to kind of paint with it or draw with it or color, whatever this would even be considered. Uh, I will be drawing actually Ikea Monkey today. And for those of you who don't know what Ikea Monkey is, I believe it was 2012 or 2013 when this monkey was like abandoned at an Ikea in Canada. It has a very fantastic fur coat on to survive the winter. And I don't remember what happened. I think Ikea Monkey was given to a sanctuary. Um, 
it's complicated. I should have uploaded a picture for you guys to view, but um, you guys can always look it up. Ikea Monkey is very famous. I will note though that the last time I Googled Ikea Monkey, I got a weird ad to buy a baby monkey, a live baby monkey off of Etsy, which I don't even know how that's possible, but um, please don't buy any monkeys off of the internet. Um, please, I don't even know if you can uh, buy monkeys. But just don't, if you're gonna buy monkeys, don't buy monkeys off the internet. Very sketchy, very weird. So let me start by sketching it out and switching the scene so you guys can actually see what I'm gonna do. Um, I did the lipsticks on top, just a small sample, just so I can see what it would look like on paper. I don't know if you could see it very well. And I also wrote down the name so I would know what color it is. Um, so let's start with Ikea Monkey, everybody. Okay, so when I sketch, I try to do general shapes first. Um, it's a lot easier to do general shapes and then just go over it a little later. This monkey has a very, very big coat. Very big. It's like overwhelming this poor monkey. But I guess in Canada you do need a large coat. Never been, but heard it's pretty cold. So, do a light sketch, and then I'll go over it. I think I got makeup on here already, but oopsies. Gets, that's the, uh, the challenge with art, is try not to get your paint everywhere. Yeah, I, oh, I forgot to mention, I do have a version of an eyeliner. It's not really a pencil, though. Like, it's a pencil, but it's not a pencil, and it looks like this, so. I don't use this either. It's very messy and it gets stuck on my eyelid. So I try, I don't really use it that often or ever actually. I prefer liquid. And then, oh, I should mention, I also have these contour kits, which has, you know, a lot of bronzers and highlighters, which is also a mess. I did use this, so that was quite used. So let's, going. Someone did an acrylic painting, or I think it's an oil painting of the acrylic, um, the monkey, and it's really good. And I'm glad that people are so talented. Because <laughs> I know I'm not very good with realism. Just don't have the patience for it. That's a weird button. I should draw. <laughs> yes, we are a makeup channel now. Um, I heard that's where all the money is, is the beauty industry, so I suggested that instead of uh, cartoons, we started doing makeup and stuff. <laughs> I'm very good at descriptions. This poor monkey, so sad. There's the powerful flushes of the day. So does anybody have any uh, weekend plans? I'm very excited for this week to be over. I've had a very eventful week at work and uh, yeah. I'm very ready for this weekend. I have a lot of birthdays this month in December. That's like the first week of the month. Yeah, yeah, Justin. Uh, eventful is, it's very, um, it's very light. It's very light for this week's description of how it went. <laughs> I 
Maybe I'll make it more cartoony. I don't know. I don't want to make it super cartoony, but. Ooh. What escape room are you going to do? Oh boy. Uh, Long Beach is pretty far, no? <laughs> Better be a good escape room if you're gonna go all the way to Long Beach. That's all I gotta say. see any of this by the way I realize it's really bright yeah I know that you are very um, you and the escape room group are very dedicated to reviewing them uh, do you ever get free access to them to, to rate them and review them Oh, nice. That's always a nice little incentive and bonus. I just gotta say the one thing I'm not good at is drawing faces and blurry monkey faces seem to be part of that, that group. I was thinking about doing the sketch before I started this, and maybe I should have. Um, but I guess you get to see how I sketch a little bit. made his head a little small. He's not very proportionate, but we'll make a, yeah, we'll make a uh, abstract monkey. So I was thinking about making it kind of a weird color because I have a lot of reds and pinks, purples. I don't want to make him just brown, even though that is his color. Um, so let's see, what will I start out with? I guess I have to be pretty light. I'm gonna actually start off with his nose because he has a red, red nose. Yes, Juan, no no sponsors on these videos. The only sponsor is Kabillion and that is us. We are sponsoring ourselves, self-made, self-funded. So, oh shoot, okay, that came out a lot more than I thought. Okay. So I don't have makeup brushes, but I think I'm going to use my paint brushes to blend because this is going to get very messy if I don't. So red nose. 
Why is there black coming off of this paintbrush? I'm terrible at washing my paintbrushes, apparently. Uh, what am I looking forward to in the next year? Well, I am kind of excited it's a new decade. Um, that's always really interesting to see because we can look back on this decade and look at fashions and cultural moments and the things that mattered most. But I don't know, I, I guess in the actual short term, like kind of materialistic or selfish, but I'm looking forward to Animal Crossing. Uh, I forget what it's called, but the new game that's coming out in 2020 in March, because I've been waiting for a new Animal Crossing game forever. So very exciting. Well, what did we enjoy a decade? We did enjoy. We did enjoy all the anime, anime and cartoons, but each, each uh, decade kind of has its own uh, slew and category of animations and cartoons. Like the 90s was Bobby's World. He's not running really anymore. Like he's on Cabillion, but he's not in production anymore. But that was huge in the 90s. And then early 2000s, uh, we had, or the, yeah, early 2000s, we had, you know, Hero 108 and Growing Up Creepy that did really, really well. And this, this decade, I'm trying to think what would be the defining Cabillion show for, for us. Um, let's see, I'm trying to think. I know a lot of people like Sonic, but Sonic was also a little older. Um... Trying to think off the top of my head. It's kind of hard to think on the spot. What do you think? What do you think is a defining cartoon from Cabillion of Kalapari? Yeah, that's an option. Yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh is a big one too. And welcome, Nerd News. I don't know if you were here or if you've been lurking or whatever, but I haven't seen you in chat yet, so welcome. Uh, for those of you joining, I am doing Ikea Monkey with makeup. Um, long story short, I have a lot of makeup. I can't use it. It's old, it's gross, it smells weird. So, and I don't wanna throw it out cause it's like not eco-friendly. So I'm trying to utilize it in art and just see what I can do with it and play with it. I've already found that I need to use a blending paintbrush to blend the lipstick into the nose. Um, Ah, yeah, at 11. We started a bit later today. I've never seen JoJo Advent Bizarre Adventures. I've heard a lot about it. A lot of people talk about it, but I haven't actually seen it. <laughs> We're gonna... Oh my God. Well, I guess if old makeup doesn't spread on your face, it's not gonna spread on paper very easily. So this is definitely an interesting challenge that I'm doing to myself. I'm trying to only do a little bit because I don't want it going super duper crazy. And right now it's looking like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. So there's his face. Oh, Pop, Pop Team Epic. I've never even heard of that. So I guess I'm not in the cool loop. a very scary version of the monkey because I haven't put in his eyes yet. <laughs> ah, you're leaving work at two? I wish I could leave work today. Okay, so there's a little bit of his face. Let me... This will be a very abstract monkey indeed. 
He has like little pink spots on his face. Yeah, it's very creepy. This is like what you don't want to see in your room when you wake up from sleep paralysis. Uh, okay, so moving on. I don't know if I should do like a red for his face or his hair. I don't know if I should get too crazy, but also why do I care if we get too crazy? That's the real tea. So let's use this lipstick that doesn't spread and is worse than Crayola. This feels like a rose art pen. Oh, gum. Gumball's good. Um, it's kind of weird. It's definitely meant for the younger audience, but it's uh, it's it's pretty good. They use a lot of pop culture references, which I like. I knew, uh, that's funny, nerd news. I knew, I had a coworker when I worked um, in retail actually, and one day she just like, you know, she was just really busy, it slipped her mind, and she got all the way to work with no shoes on. And luckily we worked at a shoe store, so she just like bought some really quick, but she's like, holy, holy, uh, holy moly, you know? How'd I forget that one? So I'm kind of using my finger to blend. Um, like all art with new, new media comes new techniques and the brushes are just not working out with the lipstick. I mean, lipstick, you're really not supposed to blend too much anyway, but. By the way, I don't know if any of our viewers in our chat room right now wear lipstick or other makeup, or if you know someone who wears makeup, you don't have to throw it out. I mean, lipsticks, you kind of have to, you can't just donate it. However, if you have eyeshadows or anything with powder or any like liquid foundation where you can um, squeeze it out, you don't have to touch it, you can actually donate it. You can try local women's shelters or there's a, um, a charity called Project Beauty, who you can ship it to and they'll send it to women in need, women who might use it, or you can just give away your makeup to coworkers. I know a lot of coworkers um, can use it. Just be sure to sanitize it first. You can do that with uh, isopropyl alcohol and just spraying it on a lot of shadows and, and powders and stuff like that. Don't give people heavily used makeup. That's also rude, but Try to donate if you can, um, give it away, try to be more, um, I know a lot of the makeup community is not very eco-friendly and there's a lot of like, oh, I gotta buy this palette, I gotta buy this palette, and then you end up with a bunch of palettes where you're like, oh, I don't use any of these. So just my recommendation, try donating it. If you know someone who uses makeup, um, suggest that they donate their old makeup instead of just throwing it out um, or just do weird art projects like this. Anyway, that's my uh, my preach of the day. Let's get back to it. Oh, I forgot to turn off the icon. Yes, um, it would be unbelievable the amount of disgusting behavior people do with their makeup. Um, 
Not judging what you do with your own personal makeup, but if you go into a Sephora and you watch people, they will take lipstick testers and put it directly on their lips. So um, that's why they don't, <laughs> they don't let you donate lipsticks. Um, also because you can get a lot of diseases and nobody wants that from some makeup, so. I kind of like the pink monkey. It makes me feel very uh, couture. Like I'm making a very couture fashion design of this monkey. <laughs> just that reason. Well, not judging what you do in your spare time or what kind of hobbies you're into. Hey, makeup is a, uh, it's not gendered unless you make it gendered, so. My finger is turning a very shiny pink. Okay, this side is not blending at all. Maybe I need the... <laughs> yeah, makeup's not for everybody and everybody has their preferences and everybody has their hobbies. Makeup can be fun because you can do a lot of artsy stuff and it's temporary. So it's like making temporary art on your face. But I know a lot of people don't like it. It is a hassle. There's a lot of issues with like societal norms and how people should look and it's, it's complicated. But hey, everybody has their own choices and their own life to live. And who are we to judge? Oh, Sailor, is Sailor Moon getting a reboot or is it just um, being put back on air? Okay. Oh, I have this highlighter that I don't know how this will work. Um, for those of you who don't know it, what highlighter is, it's a thing to make your face look like you're sweaty. Don't know why I got it. Don't know why I bought it. It's recommended by all the beauty gurus, but um, really unnecessary given that I just look sweaty anyway by halfway through the day, so it's kind of a waste. Yes. Uh, sorry, Juan, are you asking if there's any property that we want to bring back or are you um, suggesting we bring those back? Ooh. It's actually a good color for this monkey's coat. I need a brush that I haven't touched or dirtied yet. <laughs> and I have a lot of brushes that have black paint on them. Here, actually, I'm just gonna use my finger. Let's just, let's just get messy and dirty. Yes, it is like a tan glue stick. And yes, purple glue sticks, were so cool back in the day because they dried clear. I don't know why or how they make them purple, but they are very cool. I still think they're cool. I think they have blue ones too. It's very shiny. It's very, very shiny. Oh, I realized I have a blender on this end, so could have just done this. Makeup is complicated even for people who use it. It doesn't get any easier and it gets more complicated because now there's like so many different products that you're supposed to know about. And I'm like, I can't keep up. 
What just happened to blush and mascara? Tuxedo mask? Oh, is that? I never watched Sailor, Sailor Moon. Um, is that a Sailor Moon reference? I know a girl who watched it back in the day and she was obsessed with it, but I myself never watched it. This is an interesting shine that I have going on. Not saying I'm unhappy with it. See if this. Yeah, this blender is a lot better than my finger. <laughs> they always say never blend with your finger, but I don't have a choice. I don't have makeup brushes, I just have regular paint brushes. I don't know how I'm going to do shading actually with this, but we'll have to make it work. And speaking of making it work, Project Runway is back on. <laughs> In case you were wondering where that catchphrase come out, it came from. Make it work, designers. Okay, so this is interesting how it's coming along so far. Monkey still does not have eyes, but I'm not unhappy with how it's coming out. It's just very scary for right now. <laughs> Ooh, it's so shiny though. Look at that shine. Yes, yes, queen. And then, I don't know if you can see my fingers. Oh, uh, nerd news, I forgot to, yes, it's Ikea monkey, Ikea monkey. I did forget to mention, um, I mentioned at the beginning of the stream, here are our ornaments. Um, we found out, unfortunately, that I don't want to pick it up because it's leaking still, but the glitter paint does not stick um, at all. It's all over the place. Um, the other just came out a bit nicer. It's hard to see the black on camera, um, but ugh, I, I don't want to lift them because every time I lift them, like that happens. There's still leaking paint after about 24 hours. so. Um, Justin and I were trying to discuss what would be our best suggestion for that kind of project again. We really don't have one, I guess, just try to find a paint that works, or maybe just paint on the outside. Um, so, yeah, hair dryers. It's, I feel like there's just so much paint that if you just stuck a hair dryer to it, it would just explode everywhere. Like, there's just so much that's coming out. But they do glow in the dark, so that's cool. Um, we did test that out. Okay, um, what color should I use next? That's too bright. So I have a couple brown colors that I could use for his coat. I have a lighter brown and a dark shiny brown. I'm not quite sure which one to use. This is a mess, by the way. This one is just a terrible, terrible mess, but it's a perfect pencil. So I have that one and it's a little dark. Okay, I'll, I'll do this weird pencil one and see where that gets me. Okay, um, what finger haven't I used yet? Let's see if... Dear God, okay. Just blend it out. It's gonna be a little bit of a pink hue because I am mixing my fingers. 
but what's the fun if we're not mixing colors? Okay. You know what, I actually have this brown bronzer set, which I think might work better for the purposes of what I'm doing today. Um, I like the bold lines, but yes, for the ornament suggestion, we might as well just have made our own from scratch. Like that would have been the easiest way to get that paint color attached to it. Um, Let's not do do not stir stir. Let's leave me alone. Uh, okay, so let's take another regular paintbrush and try to use it on makeup. And what I'm using is this little kit here. So yeah, that's what I'll use for right now to shade it in. I just remembered I had it actually, so. Uh, yes, it did say, it said goddess bronzer, not brown. That would be a little strange, I would admit, but it did say goddess bronzer. There's bombshell bronzer, warmth bronzer, and golden bronzer. And then the rest are highlighters, which are radiance and luster. Makeup is weird. It is weird. Uh, a favorite Cabillion show. I like a lot of them. I have to say, um, we do have a couple that are on our Roku that I'm not, that I don't think are on regular, our regular TV yet. But I do like Molang. We have Bananya coming up, which is also a very cute show. Um, I like Sonic and Gumby. And Bobby's World is pretty good. Uh, Verizon is, so we have two. We have um, regular cable, which Verizon and Optimum would be a part of. And then we have, let me just focus on myself for a second. I know, I need to be on camera. Um, then we have Roku, Apple TV, Amazon Fire, um, Vudu, and a bunch of other ones. And those are considered over the top or OTT. And we have some shows on OTT that are not yet on our regular TV programming, um, just for a variety of reasons. And so you should start to see a lot of these shows coming up on TV in the next few months. Um, but we do have a little bit of different programming and some TV shows. So if you wanna see extra Kabillion content, if you have a Roku, an Apple TV, Amazon Fire, um, you can check out our website for where we are more, but we do have a lot of other content on there for you guys to watch. Yes, Justin is currently editing for TV. Um, a lot of times when there's a difference between um, like uh, Roku and that stuff, it's because there are certain regulations on TV that we have to meet before we have, like Roku is a little bit more, less, specific and TV is more specific. And TV, we have to ha meet a certain amount of requirements. We're on OTT, we don't have to meet those requirements so much or they're less strict so we don't have to spend as much time editing them. So there's two different edits and that's why usually you'll see it on OTT first and then on TV later. So that explains some of our differences in programming. Sorry you're gonna see this logo every single time. Uh, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> Ooh, Squid School. Yeah. <laughs> Editing and stuff takes a long time. Productions take forever. Contracts take forever. It's meetings take forever. I had a meeting go so long that I had to split it up into two days because we didn't have enough time to cover it because of how much people were, um, you know, asking questions and which is a good thing it's not a bad thing but it does if these presentations they do take a long time especially if 
you know, someone doesn't quite understand what's going on or there's a lot of information and yeah. So I just finished a presentation. I had to come in early this morning. I had to, um, you know, finish it off, discuss stuff. And that was like right before this. That, that's why this stream was a little delayed, by the way, because um, I was expecting to start at 10. Didn't re like, you know, once our meeting got moved, we had to, I had to come in, do it before the stream and didn't want to rush, didn't want to run from meeting to meeting, so. So this bronzer is okay. Has like the consistency of like cocoa powder. I did actually use this one. It used to be good, at least for its purpose. I wouldn't, I don't know if I would necessarily say it's good for um, coloring with, but I also didn't bring very many tools with me, so. And uh, from what I found from this process, if it doesn't spread on your face anymore because it's too old, it's probably not gonna spread on paper. Elmo, Juan, why are you discussing Elmo? Is it because he looks like Elmo? He's just very cold. He's a very cold monkey. He's in Canada, he lives in Canada. I actually wanna check up on, on Ikea monkey. Can anybody look up what happened to Ikea monkey? No, we're not tickling any monkeys here. No monkey tickling. Uh, Juan, what are you looking forward to in the next year? In Nerd News, um, Juan, had, Juan had asked us earlier, but what are you looking forward to in the next uh, year of 2020? I'm gonna start shading with the bronzer. Um, the lipstick stains are kind of uh, very vibrant. So you're looking forward to Fantasy Star Online 2. We were waiting for seven years. Wow, yeah. Yeah, it, it's always really exciting when your favorite game finally just comes back. I'm, you know, it's like, oh my God. Ooh, uh, so you have more people um, interviewing for your new social? Holy moly, that's a lot of expansion. Congratulations. That's, it's a lot of growth. I'm glad that you're able to expand. Yes, YouTube Rewind was better. I, a lot of people were complaining because it felt like a top 10, but like that's what YouTube Rewind is kind of supposed to be. Like they do it every year. They're supposed to, you know, represent 
the happenings of the year, what the most popular stuff was, what people liked, what people watched. So I'm not complaining. Oh! Wait, what? Okay, so Nerd News, you're saying he's at a primate sanctuary and just informed, you're saying that he has a surrogate baboon dad? Like the, they get along or like the baboon shows him the ropes of being a monkey? Wow. Okay, well, I'm glad that Ikea Monkey has found his group and his new father. I'm glad that he's safe and well cared for and not just abandoned it in Ikea. Although, to be fair, given the quality of his quote, it did seem like he had a good life with his owner, but I guess if she forgot him there, it wasn't that good. But. Don't buy monkeys on the internet. That's the lesson of today. No monkeys on the internet, please. Yeah, I know, yeah. Cause realistically, it's not really right to have a monkey in a very cold climate. I know it was in Canada. Um, and I think it was during the winter too, so it was even worse. So, you know, it's not fair to them. They're not domesticated. You know, they gotta be with their own primates. <laughs> yeah, Canadians are kind of weird in their complaints. Gotta say that. I will say though, they have amazing, uh, amazing programs in Canada, just like in the general sense of being cared for as a citizen, uh, don't have to worry about healthcare or becoming homeless. So I will say, you know, they, they do have their ups and they have their downs. And yes, Darwin was a funky monkey, so. This is in honor of Darwin, the stream, not sponsored by Darwin or his baboon dad. I will say though that this is kind of like, there we go. So this weekend I have a, family party because we have an entire week of birthdays like that everyone has it's like there's a birthday every day for a single week um i think my aunt's is the first one and then i have my mom's is it's the next day and then just just chaos so we're having a huge birthday party tomorrow that i am attending and uh don't know what to expect, but when my aunt and uncle throw a party, man, it's a party, party, party. They throw wilder parties than I have ever thrown in my life. And they are older. It's very interesting. They couldn't get these. Yes, that is a very strange story. So they couldn't get the healthcare. You know what? I mean, it's free healthcare or taxpayer funded healthcare. People will still be a little uh, not stable when it comes to their medical demands. A lot of people don't know what they're talking about and don't know what they need or want. I don't know. I still, I know that it's still very a controversial subject, um, assisted, uh, that, but 
because I know that in France they had a whole like 15 year legal debate because there was a man who unfortunately became vegetative and before whatever this incident, I'm not sure how he became vegetative, but he had told his wife, ever go in that state, you know, don't let me stay alive. And she let him for a little bit, but then she wanted to, you know, end it. And then uh, like his parents fought really hard because they're like, no, that's not what he would have wanted. So it was like this whole 15 year debate. And finally the wife won in the end, but it's like, ah, it's like, This is what you wanted in home. Oof. Well, I mean, it's not cheap to have, you know, uh, assisted living, and it's it's not cheap to have them come to your home. Huh. <laughs> Very interesting. Very interesting story. Very strange. What do they say when you're strange? People go out of their way. I could be remembering the lyrics wrong. I don't remember the lyrics very well to many songs. People are strangers. Okay, well... I like how it's coming out so far. It's a little more abstract. Yes. People. When you're strange. So it's a little more abstract. Um, I do have, oh, I have black lipstick. I don't want to mess with black lipstick because I know I'm going to do like a dot. It's going to smudge everywhere. So let me just test it out. So there's, it's so small, I don't want it to. Yeah, I don't know about this one. So I have this black lipstick or I have, yeah, this thing here. It's a little bit more precise. It's supposed to be eyeliner, if you can see it. So I'm definitely going to use this to outline. I don't know about his eyeballs though, because I do want to give him eyeballs. I don't want him to sit here and look very scary, but you know what? I'm going to take a risk of ruining this whole thing. Actually, I have this dark brown too, this color. Let's see if this blends. Kind of, it kind of blends. Maybe I'll do this. I'll do a little dot, a little dot, and blend it. No, please blend, please. All right, this is his eyeballs. <laughs> okay, let me, dang it, okay. I'm gonna outline his eyes then. I don't want Darwin to have no eyes. I want his eyes to be respected.
Okay, this is Darwin's eyes. A little funky. So I'm gonna do some light outlining. I'm not gonna do the full outlining. I want it still a little abstract because this is all very, very abstract art. I hope this has more in it because that would suck. And of course, I think it's running out as soon as I need it. Oh, maybe not. Oh, I think it's getting stuck. Yeah, it's getting stuck. This is why I don't use this makeup anymore. What's swirling around like a toilet flush? I like can't draw at all on this highlighter. Do some very light strategic outlining. Oh boy. BRB. I gotta outline his buttons. I can't even see his buttons. Not his gumdrop buttons. Okay. It's coming out, actually. My trick with watercolor, by the way, what I like to do is if you have a watercolor and you're not good at it, you can make it look kind of abstract or better or fix it if you do like you color it in first and then you take a black marker and outline everything. And that's how I do watercolor. And you can see it in my Inktober drawings. If you um, guys are not following me on Instagram, I'm not trying to plug personally, but I have an Instagram where I have my art. It's called Kaya Does Art. Um, you can see my Inktober drawings and some of the artwork that I do in my spare time. Uh, but that's kind of the technique I use because I am not very strategic with watercolor and watercolor is very picky and it just kind of goes everywhere. Um, kudos to anybody who can actually work with it, but that's, that's my technique. So that's what's worked for me. You're going to see the logo again. Yes, outline save the day and you can color over your mistakes. Always remember that kids. Always color over your mistakes. 
like this thing. I have a mess, okay. So I'm gonna finish this up. Um, I'm gonna leave the outlines kind of, I don't wanna say vague, but I'm gonna leave the outlines um, not completely filled in because I do like the style. It's very blended and a little blurry, um, but you know, Every art has its own style. And I think this has a very unique one and I don't really wanna get rid of it. So, I want it kind of vague still. And I think with that, Oh wait, maybe I'll add a little bit more definition here. And uh, what do you think, you guys? Interesting concept, I think, personally, for me. Should have painted the Ikea. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually not that skilled with paint or makeup. Uh, I barely can put it on my own face, but I'll try and practice and maybe next time we can do a Ikea monkey challenge. And thank you, Just Informed. I'm really happy with how it came out. Um, I knew it was not gonna be very, oh my God. Like, I don't know, like very detailed and specific, just it's makeup, it's not paint, it's not markers. Uh, we're gonna do 19 and I signed it very boldly and I really like how it came out actually. Um, I'm gonna try to scan it and maybe I can make posters or postcards or something with it um, and give it to all of our wonderful viewers who joined us on this stream. Um, but yeah, I think, I think that's it for me today. Um, wanted to thank everybody for joining us. Uh, I know that I had to take over for Lindsay today, I hope you enjoyed what I had to do. I thought it would be fun to do something a little different and unique and just play around with my old junk, I guess. Um, but thank you everyone who joined us today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being patient because I know we started a little later today. Um, wanted to just remind everybody that if you are not a subscriber yet, please, we would love if you could so we can help reach our first subscriber goal. Once we hit that subscriber goal, as a reminder, we do open an, a new emote and that new emote will be the Mr. Frog emote. Uh, tier one subscribers do get, let me switch scenes. They do get their own personalized certificate as we can see from Justin Forms uh, certificate with their own sticker, should you so be interested in that. Um, and our tier three subscribers, you still have a chance if you wanna be a tier three, tier three subscribers, and it's your first time being a tier three subscriber, you do have the opportunity to get a free Mr. Frog t-shirt. Be sure to check out our channel and look on our modules to see what that shirt looks like. If you want it, subscribe to tier three. We don't have shirts, we can't buy it. Um, it's very exclusive only for our wonderful subscribers, um, but that promotion's ending soon and we will have to not have it anymore. Um, so be sure to check it out. Be sure to subscribe. Um, thank you everybody again for joining. Uh, we're hoping next week we will be a little bit more on schedule and hopefully things work out. Um, always during the month of December, things are a little all over the place because everyone's rushing and everyone is out for the holidays. But uh, thank you for being dedicated. We really appreciate you guys. Um, next Tuesday, I believe is Dream Defenders. I can't see from here. Um, but I believe it's Dream Defenders. And then Thursday we have, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what's going on next week. I'm all over the place. Dream Defenders Tuesday, 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific time. We'll update you with what's going on Thursday and Friday. And if I am misremembering, we do have, we will be putting up a schedule on our channel. Um, once again, thank you for joining and have a great weekend, everybody. Now, how do I end it there? You have survived the Cabillion HQ. Follow the channel.